Hello guys, it is I, RetroDo, bring you a video of Playmega that was originally named as Retroblox. This is a cool clone console, guys, very similar to the Retro 5, which leashes your nostalgia. Yeah! So, past meets future, it's elemental. So, Playmega plays the following cartridges NES, SNES, Mega Drive, Genesis, TurboGrafx 16, and many more. I'm hoping for Game Boy, Game Gear, and all that stuff, Sega Master System in the future pipeline. It's cool. So basically, how it works is unlike the Retron 5, you you basically have a modular and you just take it out and then put in a new console in there, which is a great idea. So it's basically like snap on blocks, like Lego. It's so cool, guys. And it has CD ROM support drive built in. It also supports the following PS1, PSX, Turbo Graphics, CDs, and Sega CD. The only thing I'm a bit baffled is where, where's the Dreamcast support and Sega Saturn and Jaguar CD and all those lots. It's cool, isn't it? So it's it's great. I love this idea. It's so sexy in, it, in its visual appeal. The Ploy Mega has its new controller released. And what do you think of this, guys? Does this make you drool like me? <laughs> Homer Simpson mode. Oh, baby. Uh, yeah. So it, my nostalgia brain went overload when I saw the controller. I went, oh, you, you catered to the Sony fans. It reminds me of the PS4 controller. And I said, calm down a little bit. Uh, and yeah, it's it's awesome. So I like the fact there's a dip around the analog sticks. It's really cool styling. It's actually... Bit, <laughs> it's, it's a huge improvement of that rubbish Steam controller, isn't it, guys? <laughs> and this is their UI. Now, if you remember the Retron 5 had this uh, annoying problem that I really hate. And most of you guys have screamed about this. You had to get the SD card back from the console of the Retron 5. Then you got to go online. Then you have to download the software. Then you have to put it in. And then you got to get a... you got to get a write request. you got to go, oh, I'll put it back in the console and then update. And then you just go, oh, come on, you know, Ret come on. Hype again. And now they call rubbish kin for a reason. So now I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that uh, Ploy Mega will actually have servers so that you download the updates instead of the other way around. Hooray! Let's hope they do that. I love the UI of this. Very cool, guys. So how it works is if you have cartridges laying around the ha house flat or anywhere else, you can pop your cartridges in the modular and then say, for instance, for Batman, <clears throat> once you put that game in, it automatically fetches data from Wikipedia, I imagine, is hoping, and it, uh, it displays game information for you guys. So it shows you the rating of the games, and it shows you Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which is awesome, isn't it? It's so cool. I love this. It's the way of the future, this is. And the best thing is, guys, it supports Twitch, YouTube, and hopefully many more if they announce more. Which is great, so it has a built-in capture card in the console. Hallelujah! That's what we needed. Unlike the Retron 5. Thank you for that. So guys, are you excited about this con clone console? For me, I am absolutely super duper excited for the PC Engine modular. Because guys, I'm a huge fan of PC Engine. And this is such a beautiful thing. You can play PC Engine CDs as well as the cue cards in one. So I don't have to go on eBay and spend a fortune on a tiny console. Hooray! And as the saying goes... This is RetroDude. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.